Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial and today we're talking about secondary dimensions and more specifically how to use them. So in GA4 or in Google Analytics 4 you have your primary dimensions. So you have your, your page acquisition, your traffic acquisition, your pages and screens report, you have all those built-in reports and those usually come with primary dimensions. But if you ever want to look a little bit deeper or if you want to scratch a little bit more beneath the surface, you have the secondary dimensions there to just help you take a deeper look at whatever uh, information you're looking at. So let's um, start from scratch or start fresh. So open up your Google Analytics for property and this is where you'll see when you open it up. What you want to do is you want to click over here on the side to reports and then scroll down here uh, to engagement click on engagement and click on pages and screens. So this is the very first example uh, I'll show you. Basically the, the way to add secondary dimensions to reports is to click on this uh, plus button over here. So this is where you start adding the secondary dimensions. So this over here, page, pass, page path and screen class is gonna be considered a primary dimension because that is the uh, primary piece of information there. And this is where you can go ahead and add your secondary dimension. So let's focus on one page in particular. Let's focus on the contacts page. So let's type in, type in dash contacts and we'll see that we're pulling in all information uh, with dash contact. I wanna get this narrowed down a little bit more just so we're only seeing a few more pages. So I'm gonna do a contact dash get started. And that should uh, hopefully filter it down to one. That filters it down to two. That's perfectly fine. And I'm going to extend my date range to you know last 90 days. So we take a look at it. All right. So now that we have all this information sort of uh, lined out here, I'm going to go ahead and add a secondary dimension. So theoretically, let's say I want to look at where people are signing up for a contact page. So. Let's narrow it down by city. So let's click on this plus bar over here and type in city. So there are, there are a couple ways you can do it. You can either type in what you want or you can manually search for you know, the specific area you want. Uh, we can see that under geography, cities over here. So I could have selected it here or I could type in city as well. I'm just gonna click on city and see what happens. Over here, we're seeing a bunch of information. So we're seeing that under the contact get started in the last 90 days, we've had 14 people coming through Amsterdam, uh, 11 people coming from Cleveland, I assume Ohio, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Ames, Iowa, which is where uh, the headquarters are based, uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. So this is where, um, you know, this is one example of adding a secondary dimension to get more information from a primary dimension. So let's take another uh, example and put that under the microscope. Let's go to one of my favorite reports and go to traffic acquisition. And here is the traffic acquisition report. We're seeing here uh, we have a bunch of different sections. So um, let's think about um, a specific section that we want to think about. So. Uh, over here, I'm seeing paid search. So paid search is uh, basically paid advertising. Uh, so let's say we, we want to look at how well our paid advertising is doing. So I'm going to type in paid search. Once this comes up, it narrows it down to just paid search. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus button. And I want to look at what devices people are coming in uh, from our paid search ad. So let's click on platform slash device and let's click on device category. So over here, I'm seeing that from our pay advertising, we have got 21 people coming in from their uh, mobile devices, nine people coming in from their desktops and two people coming in from their tablets. So that gives us an idea of uh, how many people are coming in through our paid search campaign. So that's a primary dimension. And secondarily, um, uh, I wanna look at you know, what devices people are coming in from. Unfortunately, with Google Analytics 4, you can only add one custom dimension at a time. 
But if you ever want to have, uh, you know, a dimension and a bunch of different dimensions in a table, what you can do is you can just create a uh, free form report in the reporting section of GA4. And, and we have dedicated tutorials on how to do that. This is just, you know, uh, if you're on um, you know, a whim or you just want a piece of information really quickly, um, the secondary dimension feature over here is a great way to get more information than what you're already being given. Um, so this uh, secondary dimension is applicable to pretty much any um, part of Google Analytics 4. So, so over here in the landing page report, let's say you want to take a look at, um, you know, which traffic channel people are coming in from. So let's type in channel. So it's session default channel group. Let's click on that. And over here, we're seeing that a lot of our landing pages are people coming organically to our blog. So maybe people are typing in um, certain keywords that are on our blogs and people are coming into our website organically. So that this is one example of how we can use this, um, you know, with secondary dimensions, the possibilities are not endless, but, you know, they, they might as well be because they, they should be able to answer uh, most of the uh, basic questions you may have about your website. So, um, yeah, that is how you use the secondary dimension feature on Google Analytics 4. And thank you for watching and be sure to check out other tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thank you.